As you know, you can record any Teams meeting or call. The recording captures both the video and audio of what's being presented on the screen. In the past, all video recordings were saved to Microsoft Streams, but as of August 2021, video recordings are now saved to OneDrive and SharePoint. Hi, my name is Andy Park, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can record your Microsoft Teams meeting, show you where you can find them, and how you can share them with your colleagues. I do have an advanced tip that I'll share at the end, so be sure to stick around for that. Starting a recording is easy. Whether you're in a meeting or on a call, you can record the session simply by selecting More Actions, then Start Recording. You'll get a confirmation that you're recording this meeting, and you're advised to let everyone know that they're being recorded. As a general practice, it's a good idea to give people a heads up even before you hit that record button. But regardless of whether you tell them or not, they'll be notified by a similar banner that the session is being recorded. And this banner will remain on their screen until they dismiss the notification. To end the recording, you can go back to More Actions and select Stop Recording, or simply end the call. So where are the recorded videos? For regular meetings that are set up outside Teams channels, the simplest way to find the recording is in the recent chat. Just navigate to the meeting chat and you should see the link to the recording there in the chat history. Another way to find the recorded video is to go to your OneDrive and locate the recordings folder from the root directory. You'll find all your recordings there. For our Teams channel meetings, obviously navigate to the channel where you started the meeting. And you can either find the recording link in the channel post tab or head over to the files tab and locate the recordings folder. Of course, this means you can find it in the channel SharePoint site as well. So how do we share these recordings with others? By default, everyone who was invited to the meeting will have access to the recording. But if you want to extend access to others, here's one way to do it. For regular meetings, navigate to your OneDrive recordings folder, right-click on the appropriate file, and choose Share. Here you can click on this section and specify if you want to extend access to the entire organization, limit it to those who have existing access, or specify people. Let's select Specify People. And before we select Apply, notice we have the option to prevent people from downloading this file. I'm going to keep this enabled so that I can prevent multiple copies of this recording from floating around. And here we can search for the users we want to extend access to and hit Send. They'll get an email notification with link to the file. I don't actually want to share the recordings with Mark, so I'll just close this out for now. Similarly, for meetings that were recorded within a Teams channel, everyone who belongs to the channel will have access to the recording by default. If you want to extend access to others, like those who don't belong to the channel, you can simply navigate to the channel SharePoint site. I'm already here from before, so I'll just select the file and hit Share. From here, it's exactly the same as before. Click on this section, select specific people, hit Apply, then add the people in this box. Hit send, and those folks will get an email with a link to the recording. So personally, I think with this update, it's a lot easier now to manage recordings than through Microsoft Streams. Now the recorded files behave exactly the same as any other file saved to OneDrive and SharePoint, and we don't need to fire up another app like Microsoft Streams to manage. Now here's the advanced tip that I promise. When you set up a new Teams meeting, you can set it so that the meeting will automatically record when it starts. You don't have to remember to record manually. Let's create a new meeting. Click on Teams meeting. Then you'll see this settings button up here. Let's click on it and select meeting options. Here you can check the box that says record automatically. Hit save then close. When the meeting starts at a future time, Teams will remember this setting and will start recording automatically. So that's how you can work with video recording in Teams. Hope you found it helpful. If it did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.